Ryan with Green Tech Manufacturing and Crown Royal Boilers. We're here to talk a little bit about the RS7300 today. Um, go over some of the benefits that um, this stove has and also some of the features that it comes along with. The first thing you're going to see here is three doors when you walk up to the stove. The first door is your control panel, your access panel. Um, it's got your water fill tube or your water sight tube. It has an on off switch and it has a rheostat and an aquastat. The aquastat is a digital RANCO, controls the water temperature inside the water jacket, kicks the blowers on and off. The rheostat, uh, you can change the amount of CFM coming in on your combustion air. So if you're burning a, a greener, uh, not so dry wood, you can go ahead and run it up on high. If you're burning a well seasoned wood, which we do recommend, you can go ahead and idle this down to get the most combustion or the most efficient burn, the most efficient combustion. Um, when you come out to this furnace, the furnace is going to be on. You go ahead and shut this off. It's going to kick on this globe light for night filling. Uh, go ahead and shut the control panel door. Pull the damper bypass till it stops. Crack the firebox door and let it exhaust out um, the smoke and particulate matter up through the chimney. So when you open the combustion door, you get very, very little smoke um, that comes out of the firebox. What you're going to notice inside the Crown Royal stove, the 7300, is a set of shaker grates. And a couple reasons we put those shaker grates in there. One is for easy ash cleaning and ash removal. You just go ahead and rock the grates back and forth. We also introduce all our air, all our combustion air comes up from underneath the grates. So you're burning your fire from the bottom up instead of through the door um, or just a, a natural draft system where it just opens up a damper. So you're going to shake your grates, it'll knock all the fly ash down into the firebox or into the ash pan, keeping anything bigger than about a dime size in your firebox so you can burn it. Um, that has BTU value. It'll drop your fly ash into your ash pan, you'll shake these grates once a day, just a little agitation, and then about once a week, depending on the fuel that you're burning, you'll go ahead and pull your ash pan door. Pull out your ash pan and dump it. Now you'll notice this ash pan has a shovel nose on the front of it. So any ash deposits that fall into the tray as the ash pan is out, you'll simply pick those up as you push the ash pan back in. All the doors on the ash pan and the firebox are adjustable on the hinge side and the latch side. Also the firebox door is adjustable on the hinge side and the latch side. So what that does for you is it maintains uh, the life of your door seals. So instead of having to change your door seals every year or every second year because they're simply recessed in, you can go ahead and tighten up your door. Two stage latch, so as you're going to open this, if it ever were to combust on you as fresh air is entering into the door, your door will go ahead and catch the second stage latch, so it takes two operations to close it. And shut it, one, two. Damper bypass is closed when in operation, and we're also CSA and UL approved. So. Um, Canadian standards and US standards. Now if you want to go to the back of the stove, uh, we'll show you some of the plumbing features, combustion blowers, and solenoids in the back of the furnace. Okay, we're at the back of the stove now um, on the 7300. A couple things you're going to notice first is the large access door. 
in the back here. Um, plenty of room to install a minimum of two pumps on the back of the boiler. Very large area to do all your plumbing. Uh, plenty of room for both of your blowers and your solenoids. Another thing you're going to notice is the astrofoil on the back. The whole stove is wrapped with astrofoil on top of the bat insulation. That gives you a vapor seal and extra insulation value. Now on the back of the stove we're going to have two feed lines and two return lines. One domestic coil. Uh, the domestic coil can be used for uh, a pressurized boiler coil, a pressurized domestic coil, uh, or attaching a third building to this stove without teeing off any of the fittings. Uh, two blowers in the back. You've got primary combustion and secondary combustion. The primary combustion, when the unit fires, the blower starts, it sends the airflow through this tube underneath the grates from the back of the stove to the front of the stove and it all burns evenly. It's getting the fire to burn from the bottom side up. The secondary combustion blower, which is this one here, um, is blowing on top of the fire. There's a tube that runs from the back of the stove to the front of the stove and injects fresh air into the particulate matter and the smoke and getting it to gasify in the top of the furnace. So when, when the Crown Royal stove calls for heat, both these solenoids open and will stay open. The blowers will stay running until the furnace is up to temp and they'll drop, sealing all of the air, essentially pressurizing the firebox. You've got your electrical components back here. We can put an outlet, a switch to shut on and off your pumps. And then in the center bottom of the stove, we also have a boiler drain. Um, you can install a boiler drain, a uh, ball valve to fit a hose on it. So if you ever want to drain the system water, um, if you're leaving on vacation, you're not going to run in the winter, you can go ahead and drain the water and blow the system out. Uh, this unit is capable of heating 5,000 square feet of well insulated new construction home with 8 foot interior ceilings and if you'd like any more information you can contact Green Tech Manufacturing and we can set you up with your local distributor or dealer. You can reach us at 866-361-7355. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video and uh, hopefully we talk to you soon. Thanks.